We've set up LSA for dozens of companies, and today we're gonna talk about how to actually get them set up. Last week, I published this video, A Contractor's Guide to Local Service Ads. This is also an article on my website, adaptdigitalsolutions.com slash contractor dash guide to Google Local Service Ads. So if you wanna read the article, head to the website, check it out. In last week's video, I just it went, went through the whole thing and kind of gave you my thoughts on local service ads, what it is, why it's around, why it's even a thing, who it's good for, all that kind of stuff. And today we're gonna talk about how to actually get them set up. So this morning I added to this article a, a checklist on how like all the little steps you need to do to sign up for local service ads with your company. This is a checklist that is adapted from our internal checklist at my company, Adapt Digital Solutions. We've set up LSA for dozens of companies. And so we have a really stream, like, the streamlined process for doing this for other companies. So I've adapted this to help people who value their money more than time to help them do this themselves. So as a demonstration, I'm going to sign up for local service ads with my construction company. Uh, we aren't currently trying to get more leads, but it never hurts to actually have this stuff signed up. So I'm just gonna go through this checklist and do it one by one. Uh, you can go to, you can actually text this number 208-856-6007 and say, I want the checklist and we'll send you a copy of this. There's also a few uh, bonus tips in that checklist that we send that I'm not trying to publish publicly. So if you want to see what those bonus tips are, you're going to have to text us and download that. Otherwise, you can just go to the website and find this checklist. So, so the first thing, you might consider using a Google Workspace email with your domain. You know, every little detail helps. Sometimes Google will give you a lot of pushback when you're trying to do this stuff because there's so many spammers trying to create fake listings. So it doesn't hurt to have like a, you know, like I have Chuck at kyleconstruction.com. That could seem more valid than my personal email. But for this example, I'm gonna use my personal email anyway. So next, go to Google, type in local service ads. And what we're gonna do, we'll just click on the first thing we see. Make sure that you're logged into the right Google account. And we're gonna click get started. Okay, so sign in your Google account, click new local service ads account and click continue. So we're in there, we're gonna be signing up. Okay, so we go to local service ads, we begin the process of creating our account and the next thing we're gonna do is check eligibility. So I'm gonna put in my state and my zip code and let's find our category here. So we would be remodeler probably or general contractor. General contracting is there. So we'll select that, check eligibility, see if Google local service ads is available in our area. All right, and now we can put in all of our details. So when you're doing this, you want to put in the same details that are in your Google business listing, also called uh, Google My Business. So let me just Google the name of my company so I can find our listing. And I'm going to use this one business phone. We'll put it on our website, even though it's optional. The business registration name is going to be the same as that. And I'm going to use my father's info here. Workers, we're going to put one. Year founded, I think it was 1999. And I'll put in all of our other details here. We'll select that this is not a location people can visit. We've had a few people come to our house over the years, which was is kind of funny. Okay, for service area, We'll just we'll just run with Dalton Gardens, but usually you're gonna want to pick like the biggest area you're willing to cover. With organic marketing like Google Maps, you always want to start with a really small area, but typically with advertising, you want to start with a bigger area to give yourself as many chances to get a call as possible. So choose your service area, and you can also make exclusions if there's certain areas you don't want to go to. And now I can select the services that I want. So what I'll do is I'll select all and then I'll deselect the ones I don't want. So uh, we don't really want roofing jobs, especially as we go into winter. We don't want foundations and concrete and we don't want to do exteriors. So we'll leave it at that. And then we'll have to do, we'll have to agree that we're going to put in our license because they're going to want to verify our business license or our contractor's license insurance. And they're going to do a background check on whoever's information I put in here. Um, for your business hours, typically you're gonna want to just copy whatever you have here. So we are Monday through Friday, nine to five. 
All right, that looks good. You can always go back and change this stuff later too. All right, so that's what our ad's gonna look like. All right, so this is telling me that calls will be headed, they'll, be, they'll go here, but the phone number that they actually show will be different. That way they can track everything. So they're going to track all the calls and they're gonna record the calls. And next I'm gonna go through each one of these things and just submit my information. So the business, uh, contractor license, proof of insurance. On the background check step, I will. they will forward me to another company called Evident. And this company changes from here here and there, but uh, Evident is, it, is the company now. I'm gonna submit a uh, social security number and some kind of government issued ID to prove that I am who I am. And then they're gonna do a background check on me. It'll take you know, anywhere from one to six weeks. Uh, the proof of insurance usually takes anywhere from five minutes to a few hours. Same with the contractor's license. Um, and then I'm gonna go in, I can set my budget. So it's, it's, a, it's normal for us to start with a smaller budget and then work our way up. It seems like sometimes if you start with an unreasonable, unreasonably large budget, then Google will ignore you. I don't know why. That's just what we've seen. So we'll start with 75 a week. And for that, like they're saying I would get one lead per week. So for 250, I would get five. So they're estimating that leads are going to be about $50 a piece, which sounds about right. So yeah, we'll go with 250, save that. Billing information, you're just going to want to put in a credit card. I suggest using like a Chase Business Inc. card or one of the, a, another similar card because they will give you triple the rewards on ad spend. So if you're going to be spending a thousand or more every month, you might as well be stacking up rewards from a credit card. So that's where I'll put my billing info. And once you fill all this out, you'll just have to wait for them to process your background check. And sometimes it takes a week, sometimes it takes six weeks. And once you're finished, you'll be able to actually start running ads. And in the next episode of this, I will show you how to optimize those ads and what to do when you actually start getting calls. So if you, let's see, what else, what else could we do at this point? Once you have the ads live or you, you've made it past all of these uh, checks, you can add other admins. And so we'll show you how to do that on the next video. And there's a couple, there's a couple other things that I could share with you that I prefer not to share publicly, but I did include them on this checklist that you can download. If you want to download it, just text us at 208-856-6007. Say that I want the LSA checklist. And we'll probably ask you a few questions to figure out who you are, and then we'll send it to you. And, you know, one or two of those tips could save you a lot of time with this. And so it's, it'd be a good idea to check it out. But otherwise, this checklist right here is very thorough. And you saw me go through the process. It's very simple. Uh, you do have to have a GMB live already. And you're going to want to have as many reviews as you can get. Because once you are actually running these ads, people will be judging you based off the number of reviews you have. So if all your competitors have 100 times as many reviews as you, you probably won't get as many calls either. So while you're waiting for the background check, uh, go out and get as many reviews as you can on your Google business listing. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section of this video and I will try to help you the best I can. Thanks for watching and good luck.